Hey guys, so it is the end of summer and we are headed into fall. I am just so excited for fall this year. Like, I'm always really excited for fall, but I'm really excited for fall this year. But before we fully embrace fall, I wanted to take a look back on summer. So in the beginning of summer, I put together a summer bucket list. Every season, I typically put together a bucket list. And at the end of the season, I like to just kind of look back at the bucket list, talk about all of the things that we were able to check off. I also like to sit down and talk about it because sometimes in the vlogs, it's hard to really reflect on the moment and I feel like there's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff and vlogs that's hard to convey in the vlog. There are some clips that I'm gonna share that I think are like never before seen clips because I vlogged a lot during the summer but it was a really crazy summer and so sometimes I didn't have the time to actually put it into a vlog. So yeah, this summer was just so so crazy. We started moving at the end of May and so I feel like the majority of our summer was just packing and moving and getting unpacked and getting settled into a whole new state. If this happens to be your first video, we moved from Colorado to Utah this summer and Harper has just grown so much this summer. I was looking back at some pictures of her in the very beginning of summer last night and she just was so, she was just a little baby, whereas now she's definitely going more into toddler mode. I feel like she's just grown and developed so much this summer. So anywho, it's been a little summer recap. So the first one that I have written down is play with bubbles with Harper. Once we got here in Utah, we had a week, I think, where we got here in Utah, but we weren't closing on our house yet, at least just a few days. Um, and so we were staying with my brother here in Utah. Um, I have three brothers and their families that live here in Utah. Joe has a brother that lives here in Utah. So we have lots of family here, which has really been awesome. Um, and so while we were there, my sister-in-law, Jen, <laughs> I was gonna say my sister, she is my sister. Um, she knew that it was on my bucket list and so she pulled out the um, bubble machine and Harper was playing with them. She definitely had a lot more fun with them that time around go to the park and have um harper swing on a swing for the first time so when joe and i were living in colorado we had a park near our house and sometimes we would go there before we had harper and when we we're going through our whole like infertility journey and we would always go there and just have like a heart full of hope that someday we would be able to take our kids to that park and that we would someday just have kids to take that park and not have it just be us <laughs> And so it was kind of like a dream that we always had. And so before we moved, we were like, we have to go to that park with Harper because for us, it was just kind of like a full circle moment. Um, and so we did that before we moved. It was kind of a stressful day moving <laughs> and it was cold, I think that day, if I'm remembering right. I think that there was still snow on the ground, which is crazy. So it wasn't like the best day to go to it, but we were leaving that day. So it was the only day that we had. Um, so we were there for like literally five minutes. It was really just to go there, just to go there. Before we came up to see the house, we had a little bit of time that we had to kill first. And so um, my sister-in-law, Jen and I went to the park to wait for Joe to come. He had to come to the house first to do something. And he wanted to like be with me when I first saw the house. So we just went to the park to like wait for him to get done doing what he was doing so that I could come see the house. <laughs> Um, and so we went to the park and Harper swing on a swing for the second time and she was with her cute little cousin Declan and it was just a really kind of excited memory because I had like a whole bunch of butterflies in my stomach because I was about to see the house for the first time. So the next item is to have a family picnic and then I remember as I was putting this on my summer bucket list I had the idea to have a summer picnic um, at Joe's old college. So when he was younger, he went to BYU here in Colorado. And I just thought it would be so special to go back as a family and just to show Harper 
um, the college and just to go back as a family and just kind of, again, it's just like one of those full circle moments. And I thought that that would just be the perfect little spot to have a picnic and feed ducks. We didn't find any ducks that day, so that did not get crossed off my summer bucket list this year. But the exciting thing was that Joe's mom was here visiting for a month this summer, and she was there with us when we were able to go back to his college. And so it was just so special to have his mom come with us too, um, because she had like never seen the college. And so we had a picnic right there by the pond. It was definitely one of my absolute favorite memories this summer. I brought macaroons. Um, to the picnic and Harper like scarfed those down. She loved those. <laughs> and it was funny because it came time where we had to hurry up and go because they wanted to go to the bookstore and the bookstore was closing in like 15 minutes. So we were trying to clean up. We like took the macaroons away from her and she just kept finding macaroons. Like every time we turned around, she had a macaroon in her hand. We're just like, where did you find that? It was just a really sweet moment. And again, I always say this when I do those videos, but it just shows you that you don't have to spend a ton of money um, putting together like bucket list type of things. It's really just about creating the memories and that's definitely one of my favorite memories this summer. So the next item I've already talked a little bit about um, and that is move to Utah. And the reason why I put that on my summer bucket list was just as a reminder to make sure that I was making the move as memorable and just like look at it as a fun adventure for our family instead of getting caught up in the stress of it all. It was definitely a lot and I feel like it was just such a long process that kind of just like ate up our summer. But looking back on it, there were definitely just some cherished memories. Like Joe and I um, packing the house late at night when we would put Harper to bed and just kind of pulling out all of our items and reminiscing on things. And it was definitely very bittersweet. Moving day was definitely very, very hard. But I think that's one of the times that I, um, was grateful that I remembered to make this an adventure because I feel like movie day would have been even more sad if I hadn't tried to go into it with just a positive attitude and just kind of an adventurous heart. Um, and so whenever I was feeling like really sad, that was able to kind of pull me out of it. And then moving, like driving out here, Harper cried like half of the time at least. Um, so that was, but strangely it wasn't that stressful like i was still just so excited to just be driving to like our new life and everything and then arriving here to utah and just be being greeted by family was really special to us we stayed with my brother for a few days before we closed on our house um, I have three brothers that live here and Joe has a brother that live here and their families. Um, and so it was just really nice to be greeted by family. We also have friends that live here. It was just so many, so many sweet, cherished memories. Seeing the house for the very, very first time, which is definitely a memory that I will always cherish. Um, and so yeah, it was stressful, but there were just so many chunks of just goodness in there. The next one is explore our new town. I feel like we did a pretty good job of this. I definitely had more things that I wanted to get done this summer, but I think that's just how it always is. And it was just so busy unpacking and having visitors and everything. Um, but we have like gone to a few restaurants and we have gone to a few parks, which were really fun. We have gone to the lake as a family, which was really, really fun. That's something that we never really did in Colorado was like go to a lake. We drove up to the mountains and everything and we've had a blast just like being with more family and everything. So I, I would say that we did pretty good this summer at exploring the new state that we live in, but we still definitely have a lot more exploring to do. The next one is try something new um, and then do something new. Those were two separate ones. Try to think if I tried any new food this summer. I don't think that I did. Last summer I tried sushi, like real sushi for the first time, but I don't think that I did that this summer. Although a new activity that I did for the very first time this summer was paint rocks. Um, I think I had later added that to my bucket list was to actually paint rocks. And so when Joe's mom was here, we did that together. It was a really fun activity to do together. I kind of just left all of the paint like on the table for like a week or two and she had collected a ton of rocks 
And so whenever we were, were bored, we would just like sit down and paint rocks together. And it was just something that her and I would do. And I feel like it was just a really fun activity to do with my mother-in-law. I absolutely love painting rocks. Like it is such a fun, quick and easy activity to do. It's a lot less like stressful and time consuming than like painting an entire canvas. Celebrate Harper's first birthday. This was just a milestone that I was super excited for. Um, as going through our infertility journey, that was definitely just like a memory that I was always looking forward to that I never knew. I thought somebody was at my door. Somebody might be, I don't know. <laughs> um, I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to experience it, but for me, like birthdays are just so special and so important. And I was always just so excited to be a mother and to celebrate my kids' birthdays and just try to make it a very special day and let them know how much I love them during that day. And so it was my first time finally being able to do that. And um, it was a very emotional day. <sighs> I didn't realize how emotional it was going to be, but um, yeah, Harper's first birthday was just a blast, like her actual birthday. We surprised her with her tent and grandma brought tons of gifts for her. And we went out and got cupcakes and it was just a very, very special day. And then later on, I think like a week later, we had a lake birthday party for her, which was a ton of fun. It was really nice to be able to just have family there and kind of embrace the new area that we live in and have the lake birthday party for her. And it was just really fun. One of the other items um, on the bucket list was to take Harper swimming. So I did take Harper into the lake with me. Joe had a cut on his leg and so he was worried about going in to the lake because he was worried that it was going to get like infected or something. And so it was just me and um, Harper didn't care for it too much. I think if Joe had been able to get in there with her, I think she would have loved it. She, He is definitely her like safety blanket. Um, so I think if she was in daddy's arms, she would have been a little bit more brave. I got her to enjoy it for like two minutes. She really does love the water. She loves bath time. And so I thought that she would be like a complete water baby, but um, not that day, she wasn't. <laughs> the next one is turn 30. I turned 30 this summer and it wasn't as hard or annoying as I thought it was going to be. I thought I would have like a harder time turning 30. I don't know why. Um, but now I'm just like kind of proud of it. Like, yeah, I'm 30. Proud. I'm proud of where I am in life. Yeah, it was a good day. Joe and I went to Park City. That was his birthday gift to me was while grandma was here, we took advantage of having a babysitter. And so we went to Park City for two days and just had a little romantic getaway, just the two of us. Um, and then his mom and Harper joined us the second day, which was a blast having them there. And it was just really nice to be able to get away just the two of us, but then also to be able to enjoy Park City with his mom and Harper. It was just like the best of both worlds. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed taking a look back at summer with me there. It was a really great summer. It was stressful. It was probably one of our more stressful summers just because again, moving is stressful, but so, so many good moments in there. And that's one of the reasons why I just love making these seasonal bucket lists because I think that if I hadn't made the bucket list, I think that we kind of just would have gotten lost in the stress of it all. But because I had made these goals to make these memories during the summer, it kind of just like kept me grounded and it reminded me to stop and smell the roses during all of the craziness. And through it, we were able to make so many wonderful memories this summer that I will always cherish in my heart. The Roomba keeps talking. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.